<laughs> but Visage, uh, offlane, went for... This is like a classic 33 build. Sometimes people go drums, but 33 a lot of times actually just rushes the Maelstrom into Gleipnir. Boxy, unfortunately, watching as his friends trapped in a cage. You know, that's the classic. He was like wondering if this is the real Naga. His smoke just popped, so they do know it's real. Boxy, gonna go for the charge, but they gotta be a little bit careful. Nets out, he's got no mana. He does have a pretty decent amount of stick charges, but Bushwhack comes out, Clockwork with the hook on in. Parker gets credited to the kill. Is working on Orchid right now, I think? Or is she still, oh, she has it actually. Oh, okay, okay. Is this tournament so we'll a land? Parker? Yes, it is. Uh, that's Orchid Reveal. Uh, dude, if he gets this Shadow Fiend solo, Matthew Bushwhack, dude, he's just dead. No dude, way. Parker Naga Siren, Saga the Siren, dude. He just needs a little bit of mana. He is out. Okay, guys. <laughs> Naga Siren is here. <laughs> Top of the net worth. I warned you. I literally warned you. Everyone thought I, I was an idiot. But, but here we are. Parker Naga Siren is online. I like Yadomi's build, just double Wraith Band. They know that you do need armor regardless, right? Meld Strike and the Shadow Fiend presence enough uh, is enough of minus armor that you do have to kind of itemize for it. Mm -hmm. um, smoked up here on Boom. Sacred, gonna try and bait this out maybe a little bit. Here comes the Epicenter. He's running in. Who do they find? It's Mickey! The nice bushwhack. The sharpshooter's there, but a huge Requiem pushes them back, but he's stuck inside of the wall. Vacuumed back. Mickey in so much trouble, and he's dead. They've managed to take down the channel on the backside as well. 33 trying to get away, but the chase continues. Dark Mago surged up, goes right through the trees. Bro strike, and a nice bushwhack. Three dead, and guess what? Nisha in trouble is he gonna die to the soul burn doesn't look like it a three for one as boom are back baby they take the gold lead for the first time this game after what was a really rough start being like all right well we have pipe they don't let's fight but they actually are just at a lock they have way less team fight right mickey got caught in the literal worst position he's in in the middle of like three trees surrounded by naga siren and a wall and mickey is just uh -oh. dead oh <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. Song gets stopped by or the charge, the charge by yeah. Song too. Otherwise so, maybe you at least get Matthew. Matthew goes unpunished as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Smoke up from Liquid. Let's see what they do here. Boom, with their own smoke and to start scouting with an August Iron Illusion. Sacred right up front. They find Nisha. Boxy with the charge on through. Gleipnir's gonna cancel it. Nisha, nice Requiem comes in. Does manage to fear off the whole backside. Epicenter not doing a whole lot, but Dark Mago's living at the moment. And now the Vac Wall. Sacred gets three. And now comes the Naga Siren. You're gonna be able to trap them in. Burl Strike gets Mickey as well. Charge comes through, but it's not enough damage. And now Nisha's on the run. Gleipnir's out from Matthew. It's a disaster. Liquid's lost three. Make it four. And 33 is alone. Oh boy, that is a team wipe going Boom's way. This is looking rough. I mean, the 24 pick Naga Siren is actually insane. It is so yeah, it good. Is. Like, it's one of those things where it wasn't even something that I had considered when the draft was coming out. And then I see it and I'm like, dude, you're fucked, actually. If this goes to like 30 <laughs> minutes, you lose the game. <laughs> like, Liquid had to get a Rax before 30 minutes and have to be, like, completely dominating the map. This isn't, like... A lot of people are like, oh, they're just throwing. It's not a throw. Like, Boom actually did a really good job at slowing down their game. And Dark Magos found Nisha as well. He's just going to hold that. Cancel the Requiem. Yadomi comes in with a hook shot. They got him. Like, Shadow Fiend and TA are not heroes that usually can afford to build really early BKBs because they need other items. And yeah. you're against Sand King, Darkseer, Clockwork, like Hoodwink. Like heroes that have an absurd amount of stun, right? Dude, they have a the banner because it's second is pushing Roche. High ground at 25 minutes. Who would have thought? It's second Roche. So there's a banner here. So they actually can't do anything about this. Like this catapult is going to live. That's the downside of taking Roche at fucking 13 minutes into the game. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Uh... I did not have this on my bingo card, I'll be honest. I thought it'd no, be like 30 not. minutes, Boom would be starting to pressure, but somehow have swung 7,000 gold lead. 
And they get a full lane of, bar of barracks. I mean, boom game one, I think. I don't, I don't think there is a really good at, like path to victory back into this game for Liquid because you are now against the Nagas Iron, who's up two, like who's up a full lane of barracks and now no mid tier two, with an Aegis yeah. Bloodthorn now completed. Like your TA has a BKB. I don't think Nisha does yet. Um, I don't think so. But you get Bloodthorned by this hero if you don't have anyone on him. Big vac wall into the oh Pearl Strike. God. Oh no. The Bushwhack on to three, the hook shot to follow. It's a bloodbath, baby. <laughs> Boom Esports are just wrecking Liquid here in this game one. Mickey back into the fountain. This is just GG. I, I honestly think it is. You can just end the game. You get the tier three. You go right into the tier fours. That's GG. Oh yeah, my God. What? SA Doubters, where are you at, dude? What Holy shit! For that. Not something that we see that often for that team. And yeah, it's you're gonna have to be very careful. Like this is not a team to underrate at all. Uh, really good bait from Matthew potentially here. I'm trying to use both sets of my eyeballs. To, oh, he got so lucky on that acorn shot. Doesn't manage to finish the job, but Yadomi should just bonk him. Wait, what? I can't did he vacuum it? Or a bad he vacuumed shard. him in. That's. I was like, how did you don't get back in the shards? Boxy like saved his ass, and he vacuumed him back into the shards. And then dual breath, liquid cross. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Sacred is going ham, dude. He's like, I'm the bigger fish, baby. Smoke popped Matthew, putting his body in harm's way. They do have the stomp and a bushwhack to potentially follow this one up. Rolling Thunder comes through. A Ravage as well. Mortimer Kisses getting a lot done on the backside. Boxy tries to go for a cheeky little play there. But Dark Mago, he's just chain stunning. Mickey, and he kills him. Oh, that's a big one. Nisha with a haste rune should survive this. It looks like he might be going for an Ags. Nice move from Boxy here. The ward has been scouting Matthew for quite a while. Shards does sharpshooter try and get away. No more. Yeah, I was like, no more scurries. So this should be a kill on Matthew. Very well done. Good rotation. That, way, that being said, bottom, Mickey needs to be a little careful. Stomp. He's going to be able to dark pack for the moment. Waveform on in. The body blocks. He's dead. Oh, the damage. Yeah. Dude, when you get Yadomi there, uh, and he's on top of the Slark, everything's just pure damage. Up someone who has been? Yes. You can you can snowball a different hero that has been leashed. Uh, okay. Slark, cut behind the tower, does get ravaged, bushwhack into Sharpshooter. He didn't see this Hoodwing coming. He's forced to pop the ult, but he's stuck. Is he stuck? Step bro, I need help. <laughs> oh my god. He got the help. He did get help. Not from the person he was expecting. <laughs> Oh my god. Potentially the biggest oversight. Uh, well, Definitely. there's there's the shard, right? Dead in the water, drop from Sacred. Mortimer Kiss is coming through, and now they turn around Walrus Punch here onto the Tidehunter. Snowball actually dodges the Bushwhack. Can they finish the job? Dude, the Crimson Guard is doing so much work, but Parker... Does he have it? Backside the fight. They also get Dark Mago. Dude, this is a huge fight here for Liquid. Yeah. Mickey just shredding one by one. These are the fights that you want to find. You can set that to not record those. If yeah. You have like a different I'm, stream. I'm lazy audio as channels. fuck, though. Uh, Yadomi going to get caught here. Easy kill. Ravage comes through. You have to shard these guys. The Rolling Thunder, though, interrupting a boxy, trying to go for the snowball. He gets off, but the... The dead in the water comes out way too late. Allows him to escape. Shadow dances out. Boxy finally going down here, but they've got to turn their attention to Mickey, and they finally get him. Parker vacuumed back into the wall. He cleans up 33, and Dark Mago trying to get Nisha, unable to do so. A really good fight from Boom. It's back, baby. I'm a little Sharp surprised they're pushing oh, even into the ages. Oh, Earth Splitter! Ravage! Uh, it connects! The Earth Splitter's off the mark, but the Rolling Thunder's in from Dark Mago. The Chain Suns, they're trying to get the Dark Seer, but the Snowball's gonna save him. Still drags the anchor with him. But Boxy and Mickey onto the back line. Dark Mago still trying to finish the job. Doesn't get Mickey. Now he's in a rough spot. He's gonna go down. 
Can they get out now on Boom? A big commitment into the fount or into Oh my god, Mickey is forced to pop the cheese as Parker is just doing so much work. Waveforms on in, takes down Insania, looking for 33, but the damage from Nisha is pretty huge. He's gonna TP out. He's gone! Sacred left to the devices of Liquid here. Matthew trying to offer some assistance. Really good snowball dodge. Nisha needs to be careful here, actually. These Morphling Illusions are owning, but the little Shredder to clean them up. Sharpshooter off the mark ends up being a great hold from Liquid. That Aegis Cheese actually doing so much work in this fight. Uh, no, break. Morphling is in a really bad spot here. Uh-oh. He has to BKB TP, I imagine, here. Fox. He just has to save his punch, though. Oh, shit, you're right. Okay, he's getting really far, and the... Ooh, oh, the, <laughs> the Ogre Seal totem was so Dude. close. He was like, I'm coming back, baby. This is... BKB, oh, he, he just dark packed in mid lane. Oh, you don't need BKB, then. You just one-shot him with the amplified damage. It's not even close. Oh, my God. Yeah, they don't have a, they don't have a ward scouting the rune. Uh, Nisha's gonna get slept here. Oh, he BKBs it. Rolling Thunder's in. He just goes ahead, waves for him. Nisha now under a lot of damage, but Parker, he has morphed a good amount out. Dark Mago under the cover of the Rolling Thunder. It's about to expire. He has to get out, but no. Mickey's buyback puts good use. Gets one kill. Looking for more now. Yadomi down to the low ground. Will TP. Matthew, nice bushwhack. Uh, Sacred finds 33 dead in the water. He could ravage. Where's Morphling? Okay, he's on the way. Okay, rolling thunder. Chains on down 33. Oh, that's a lot of damage. He's dead, Nisha. Gets the mortar. Oh, he did not get the wall out. He got the shredder off, but his BKB's already expended. Depth Shroud is out, keeping Boxy alive for now, but they've got Slark. That's a big one. Die back for 100 seconds. And Sania trying to TP out. He's going to make it, but you've lost Boxy as well. Ladies and gentlemen, I think Boom have Boom just, just two zeroed, zeroed liquid. liquid. Parker has not lost on Warfling, I think, in this event. So he is very good at this hero. Now, liquid did have a rough laning stage, though. I think yeah. that was probably their slip up. After that, it cleaned up a Ooh, lot. Bango gets the cheese off. The Shield cheese. crash. Roll up and rolling thunder. He's out. Uh, that's oh, a oh, weird spot oh, okay. to get stuck. He's, he's good. But... All right. Nisha. BKB, Little Shredder, trying to survive, but in comes Parker. Great Walrus Punch, but can he actually finish the job? Nisha gets out with a Shadow Blade, it looks like, as the Dark Seer Lark is surges. Back. Lark is back. They need to get Mega Creeps. Oh, Nisha's damage. Is it enough? They're going to get Yodomi potentially sacred as well. The chase continues. They got them both, but it looks like Parker gets the secure of the Mega Creeps. Four staffs away. Four staffs again, waveform, all of the disengage, and they're gonna get boxy as well. Dude, boxy. Matthew oh is such God. Matthew is such an asshole, I swear to God. <laughs> He's so good at these oh, like little punishing plays. Morphling has Aegis. They're okay to bait this. They double buyback. Dark Mago goes in, gets on top of Nisha, just going to try and bring him down. They're gonna be able to do it. That's dead for 95. And Morphling, yeah, he's gonna lose the Aegis. You gotta be careful though, fighting into the stacks yeah. on Sark. Ravage comes through, does clip all of them. Dark Mago's still alive. Great bushwhack onto another. He gets away, he had a haste rune on this freaking Pango. No way, dude. 33 trying to chase, but Pike is out. Gets a convenient bash as well. No way, dude. 33 trying so damn hard. He finishes the job finally, but the, the base, the base, Liquid, your base. He's gotta pad the stats, man. He knows this is a loss. Dude, what an insane game from from Boom. Yeah, insane bro, series, Matthew, dude. Save your yeah! He gets the kill. <laughs> Two zero. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Boom Esports looking absolutely great today. In reality, in the personal, I'm feeling emotional because for me. Todo el año como que he estado prácticamente en, en Arabia con Enigma y como que extrañaba mucho ¿no? el calor, Sudamérica, de mi país. Y nada, en la persona es como que siento muy emocionado, siento que la Lima Mayor nos dejó una buena experiencia y creo que ese, ese torneo tampoco nos va a decir. En realidad lo que pasó es que nosotros nos hemos juntado porque somos un nuevo stack de Boom. Nos juntamos para las clasificatorias del DI y creo que eso fue hace como 15 días si no me equivoco. Entonces terminó las qualifiers del TI y lamentablemente las perdimos. 
y nos hemos preparado prácticamente 12 días en Brasil. Hemos estado en Fortaleza, jugando experiencia en Europa y todo lo demás. Y nada, aprendiendo más que todo cómo los otros equipos de Europa están como que jugando el mapa y todo eso, ¿no? Porque creo que son los que están más actualizados, por así decirlo. No hay mucho que decir, creo que toda la gente eh, aprecia mucho el público peruano. Creo que el último torneo todos apreciaron eso, que es creo que el, la belleza de, de, del país, ¿no? Que, entonces como que demostraron mucho ese calor, esa... Esa pasión, por así decirlo, porque todos prácticamente resaltaron al público, que fue lo que más le gustó. Cuando yo quise jugar contra Tundra, pero lamentablemente no están aquí. Creo que Liquid es el favorito y el que le seguiría, en mi opinión, sería, creo que, Heroic, si no me equivoco. Y entonces es como que siento que Heroic en todo el año ha venido trabajando y para mí lo que más resalta de ellos es que su estructura de juegos es muy sólida. Y eso es lo que a mí me gusta. Y creo que saben muy bien cómo estompear el juego. Así que yo creo que Heroic tiene mucha oportunidad de dejárselo Liquid. Nada, este, gente, agradecerles siempre todo el apoyo, todo el calor que siempre brindan ahí, los buenos, los malos comentarios siempre están ahí. Creo que últimamente la gente ha aprendido a dar críticas constructivas y eso es lo que a mí me gusta. Y nada, gracias por todo.